other drivers were stranded in this icy mess for more than nine hours overnight. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon talked to them as they waited it out on the interstate. But I've been here for about nine hours now, so haven't really moved. This Saturday morning gridlock started late Friday night. The car since uh, about last night. right around 11 o'clock last night. Good Christmas party, though. It's for Toys of Tots. <laughs> and their party never stopped as they tried to pass the time. Dance music, a uh, little ice Christmas skating around the car. Yeah. <laughs> Others took matters into their own hands. Check out these cars actually going the wrong way on I-465, exiting down the wrong ramp on Michigan Street as desperate drivers seek an escape. It's been unlike anything I've ever seen in my 14-year career. Sergeant John Perrine worked overtime watching over this crash scene from Friday night. We could not get an ambulance here. Fortunately for us, Zionsville Police Department was close by. One of their officers put the, the injured person in his car and, and physically drove that person to the hospital. Meanwhile, the driver in the tan car chose to spend the night inside his crashed car as it took hours for tow and salt trucks to make the rounds. Another major obstacle in getting the roads back open and getting the salt plows through, cars that were stranded, drivers stranded, running out of gas, leaving their cars behind, getting those towed, another obstacle to getting the roads back open. Turned the car off most of the time to conserve fuel. This family from near Kokomo came prepared. Covered up with our emergency blankets that we brought along and um, slept some, talked, laughed, prayed. Prayer is what helped get them here in the first place. We're going to the airport to pick up my sister's son who's coming from North Carolina, Fort Bragg. He's in the Army. It's a homecoming temporarily delayed by the ice, but finally around 930, traffic slowly started moving as drivers counted their blessings. Cars not dented though. No, no dings, no dents. Cars, cars good. I'm good. All fingers, toes, they all move, wiggle. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.